So, skylights, <laughs> they constantly leak, they will leak, there is no question of if they'll leak, it's when they will leak. Um, so <laughs> I know, everybody loves the way they look, they bring natural light into a house, I'm getting into the sales side of things now, bring natural lighting, they come standard with laminated glass, um, laminated glass with low E, which is energy efficient, stops the sun's rays from coming through, but they're going to leak at some point. Most skylights have a life of about 20 to 25 years. You're extremely lucky if you get 30 years without a skylight leaking. Um, there's several different skylight manufacturers. There are a ton of them that have been discontinued because everyone hates to manufacture them because there are warranty claims on them all the time. The two most common skylights in this market are SunTech and Velux, and there is a vast world of difference between both of those. SunTech are super cheap. They're called a self-flashed skylight, so the flashing kit is built into them. They are absolute garbage. Everyone I've ever dealt with leaks. Even when you put ice and water shield around it, it seems like the frame fails. Might not do it right away, but it will. Um, Velux, super high quality skylight. Um, just from my own dealings with them over the last 11 years, I don't think I've ever had a Velux skylight that leaked when we installed it. <laughs> um, Velux has their own flashing kits. They build everything to pretty exact tolerances. They're one of the few skylight manufacturers that includes laminated glass as a standard feature. And I'll give you a brief rundown. There's differences in glass strengths. You have annealed glass, which is just regular glass. I can take annealed glass and I could take my ring right here, hit it, and it's gonna shatter. <clears throat> There's the next step up, which is laminated glass. Laminated glass is what you have in the windshield of your car. If you put your fist through a windshield, you might have one little puncture hole where your fist went through, and the glass is gonna fracture all the way across, but it's gonna shatter into itty bitty teeny tiny pieces, commonly called safety glass. Laminated glass, laminated glass, is tempered glass that's heated even more and you have <clears throat> from a side note or from a side view of it you have one piece of laminated glass then you have a thick layer of PVB uh, vinyl right in here and then you have another layer of laminated glass right there this all is heated together and made as one piece of glass. It's super strong, uh, very difficult to break this. Even if you like dropped a hammer on top of it, if you're up on a roof, I'd be really surprised if you break it. <clears throat> and if you do, bless you, if you do manage to break this, these pieces will break into tiny little pieces like your windshield, but this PVB inner layer right here holds the glass in the frame. It will not fall out of that frame. If it does, it's considered a failure. So that's what Velux has as standard in all of their skylights. I was a little surprised to find that out. Velux also has low E. As a standard feature in all of their skylights, the one that they use is called low E366. It's manufactured by Cardinal Glass. It's one of the highest uh, quality glasses in the entire United States. Cardinal makes about 70, I think 75 to 80 percent of glass that's in all windows in the United States. Low E366 <coughs> is silver and titanium dioxide that has been blended, and I know I'm getting super deep into the weeds right here. Silver and titanium dioxide layered together microscopically. The real benefit that it provides for you is when the sun hits the glass, the glass does not absorb the sun's rays, it reflects them. So it will 100% keep the interior of your home cooler and it'll keep everything from fading. If you have carpets, rugs, furniture, where there's a skylight in there, <clears throat> if you don't have low E, that sunlight coming through there over a couple of years, two, three years, will fade anything that the sun touches. Low E will keep that from happening. This is, this is not a sales feature. This is not me going, oh, it's a great feature that you should sell to everybody. This is scientifically proven. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> So that's why I believe that Velux skylights are the best. And that's why I like to tell you guys all about that. That's why I hate SunTech skylights. One, I hate them leaking. Two, I think they're cheap, cheap, cheap. I'll never want to sell them.